all right in the last video we have seen generating the json reports JUnit reports html reports now if you take a look at the our report that we have seen in the morning right so you can see the details of each and every step is given what if i want to add my own log i want to say for example username is entered if you remember we have written a log like this right so enter this value on this field like this because we followed the uh, this locator json concept where we have provided the descriptions and all it is working fine also but how can we make sure that these information can be written on the html report okay that we will see so now go back to the core library okay and this particular video will focus on theoretically first on two things two keywords one is a scenario it's not keyword just object name scenario and the other one is this keyword other one is a this keyword these two are very very important for our automation framework from now onwards okay many things will be linked to these keywords now okay let's start one by one and then we will discuss about scenario and this and all okay so let us continue okay so let me remove all these things okay this is my before okay so now i want to add all this information to the html report okay how can we do that before that here i will write one name uh letters i mean a word scenario okay so now when i say scenario dot are you able to see entire information what is Gherkin document what is pickle what what is the status of this result what is the test case start id what, will it be retried or not every information is given what we will do we'll keep the debug point over here and we'll try to analyze this particular scenario okay so let's try debugging it npm test okay So it has started okay so now go to your debug console and just say scenario hit enter we can see these three variables right inside of that you can see the values gherkin keyword pickle result and then these things are coming right okay so now if you expand your gherkin document expand your gherkin document you will see many details related to your feature file remember this is a home page feature that we are running it and comments we have not added any comments what is the future details remember name of the feature is this and steps location which location is this and you have children the scenario under the scenario you have tags and more importantly steps see here every step in detail it is written over here user is on login page uh, user enter login details and blah 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 logout should be successful that means in a layman language if we say can we say like it's like a listener for us i may be wrong the word but imagine you are getting every information what is our language id what is the name of it what steps you have right so we are able to access the things from here right for example scenario dot pickle dot name you can see this is a scenario name right so we can access this keyword or you can say uh, you can give any name to be honest okay you can access that 
in before, after, before step and after step. And remember, you cannot use that particular extra variable here. It is not allowed in before all and after all. We have how many hooks? Just open the notepad. We have before all, right? Before all. After that, before. After that, we have before step, right? After that, we have after step. After that, we have after and then after all. Okay. In all these cases, you can apply that scenario except before all and after all. This is not been provided by keeping by keeping some context in the uh, uh, in the consideration. They have not provided, it. so it is not possible over here. Okay, we'll find out some alternatives over there, but we don't need also. To be honest, we want to, for example, every time I want to print that. Okay, this scenario is started. I want to print like that. So what you can do simply log console log and I can say that okay scenario dollar scenario dot okay pickle dot name is started is started right so we'll run, we'll run this program and we will see how this information will come onto the console now. Okay, I'm going to close this and we'll try to add more information. When is the console already done? Console is started. Let me add some special characters like this so that we can easily catch up. Okay, this is started. Similarly, similarly, let me control C. Let me clear it. Similarly, after right okay here also we can say scenario okay once everything is done i will we can copy paste this one right okay so instead of started we can say ended instead of started we can say ended right as i said earlier after all before all will not work i mean you cannot add the scenario over here okay and we can also say before step remember we have before step also right before step Right. You can copy paste this and same thing we can say that uh, scenario dot scenario dot pickle step dot I think text is started. Let's see what will what, what will come here. Let's see now. Okay, copy this, paste it over here. You can say scenario dot. pickle step or pickle dot will not give you it will give you the pickle uh, that particular scenario name only what i need is a step name right so pickle step dot okay text is started this step is started we are saying started right similarly after step also just copy paste this after step okay is ended and we'll try to run this one now and see what will happen okay we are running in the debug mode let me remove this debug point anyway this will set and focus here this is started and this step is started and this step is started this step is started so imagine if you are adding this information to your particular login i mean your particular html report that will be even more detailed report right okay so you can see now it is like a, if you remember if you're coming from the selenium java perspective you might have implemented these things in the listeners right before and after you might be doing all these activities so imagine in the same fashion right okay so you can add all these details over here we are printing but our ultimate goal will be we will be adding all these details to the html report okay and not only this one we can also say after okay after here after here 
scenario dot result dot status see here you can also you can also get the exception imagine you have after method in test ng where you will be get all those information you might be adding these details to the extend report and everything will be coming up think in the similar fashion you will get your message exception how much time it has taken what is the status of it right let's try to print the status also right console log okay console log scenario scenario status is this scenario status is this one okay so we'll try to you like this you can do the same thing for the step as well okay let's try running it one more time and see what will happen cls So it is going to launch the browser. It's the same thing. We are not bothered about it. So focus here. Right? Everything is getting done. Log out. And look at this. Scenario status is passed. That means you want to take a screenshot. Yes. We can take the screenshot on failure only. How it is possible? For example, if we see here, we will take the screenshot ladder but I'm just telling here equal to status dot status dot failed if it is failed I want to take a screenshot right imagine how easy it is right if you relate with your selenium test ng same thing you can apply here also right so I'm taking the screenshot I'm taking the screenshot you will write the code over here nothing to worry about I'm just writing the pseudo code that's it right okay so like this you can make use of this particular scenario parameter and you can apply to only before after before step after step you cannot apply to the after all before all. remember this and this is very very important keyword this is very very important keyword can we apply this scenario on the spec level as well can we do that let's give a try see here it's not possible right now if want we can also keep the cursor over here and see if it is working fine see here debug point cls run it over here and see if scenario is holding any values inside of it Okay, let it be it will stop over here okay so now right click and evaluate on the debug console see you're not getting anything right you're not getting the values or parameters that you're that you're expecting so you do you cannot apply over here but what is the solution right so now in the next video we will be discussing about the concept of this keyword using the this keyword right so we have some concepts where we can log where we can log the custom information to the HTML report. In the next video, we're going to see that. Okay. So remember, all your hooks except before and after all, you can use this scenario and then you can get the vital information about your execution, which scenario is being picked up, what is the status of it, you want to take a screenshot, everything can be done using this particular parameter, which is called as scenario. Okay, I hope it is clear. See you on the next video. Thanks for watching.